Hi guys, it's Cindy Leach, your polymer clay tutor, and today's PCT product demo. I'm going to show you how to make some really easy DIY jewelry packaging using the We Are Memory Keepers 123 punch board. Now, I've used this punch board before in some previous projects. Um, in fact, I had them, uh, I talked about it when I did this demo on how to store uh, some accessories for the Heidi Swap light box. Um, I used the punch board to make some little file cards and some little um, coin envelopes. But I mentioned that you could also make some great boxes and things with, this, with the tool as well. And so I'm gonna do that for you today. Now I've got a bunch of different boxes on here. You can use these little tiny boxes um, for lots of different types of jewelry type situations. Um, whether you're doing craft fairs, giving them as gifts. In fact, I've got a big stack of them here that I've got set up like an advent calendar uh, for my son Fisher. But you can um, use this punch board to make lots of really, really um, cool things with it. Now, um, it makes the envelopes, like I said, you can do, um, you can make envelopes, bows, and boxes, and you can make boxes in a ton of different sizes. Um, I'll pop it out of here in a second, but I've got examples here of, you know, wide, thin boxes, um, larger boxes. This one has a bracelet in it. Um, tiny boxes, really tiny boxes, quite large boxes. So this can all be made with the same tool and with the same principles, which is really neat. I also made these little um, earring cards using the punch uh, board here just to do the corners and, the, and rounding off the corners at the bottom. And so you can get a real um, cohesive look by using the same papers. I'll show you quickly how this box um, comes apart and how you can uh, use them and then I'll show you how to make them. So they work on kind of, um, folds and tabs. So here's these two folds at the top and then two more folds here in the middle. And then I've got a whole bracelet in here and then you can just put it all back together. Um, the nice thing is if you're a crafter that does a lot of craft fairs and that kind of thing, or you want to make up a bunch of these boxes ahead of time, you can punch them all out and do the folds and then just store them flat. So you can take an absolute ton with, um, a ton of different boxes with you but um, and then you can just do them up at the site on site if you want but they just all fold together like this the um, tool even punches these neat little notches in the top here so that the, it all holds together without any glue and then I just added a little um, tie with the shell on it to make it all go together with the abalone uh, bracelet by the way that bracelet was made from the um, abalone tutorial that I have. Then the, here's a pair of earrings made with the paper that was left over. Um, and I mean, not the paper, the, um, <laughs> the card was made with the paper left over. The earrings were made from the same uh, uh, abalo faux abalone tutorial. And um, so I just made a pair of earrings and put them onto the card and it all kind of goes together. Now, Here's the tool here. Um, it's very clever design. We Are Memory Keepers is a, a smart company. They really think things through. I've kind of just opened it at the side here so I can pop it out. And it comes with a booklet which has got some very good instructions in it. It also has a sticker. There's a chart on the inside of this tool right here. And it has all of the um, sizes and um, instructions for making the envelope. The envelope instructions are all in blue. Um, and the bow ones here are in gray. And then the box is in pink. Um, it has all the instructions. But this sticker here has it in, um, in metric. So if you are... Well, Canadians are mostly, they're kind of a mix between using imperial and metric. But if you prefer using metric, you can. Um, for the European countries, they can use the metric one and just stick it on there and it's good to go, which is really nice to use. Um, and 
let me just lay this out here and get the stuff out of the way a bit. What you need is a square piece of paper to start off with. And you want to use a nice stiff cardstock. This has a, a piece that comes out to the, an angle like that. And I've got, turn around here. I've got these paper pads and you can find them anywhere. Um, Michael's has them, you know, I'll, I'll put some links to, I'll put some links to the tool as well as uh, to paper pads and stuff. But um, there's lots and lots of card stock out there. This happens to be double-sided where the print is on both sides. I really like that because then it looks great on the inside or the outside, but you don't have to have, uh, uh, it doesn't have to be double-sided. This one isn't and it looks great too. Um, and there's so many different styles. So if you're a, a woodsy kind of person, there's those kind of papers, a flowery person, a person, there's even kind of guy designs and all kinds of stuff. So you, and you can see I had Christmas papers back there, but they're 12 by 12 inch sheets of cardstock. All of the boxes need to be, um, you start off with a perfect square first. And on this little chart, it's going to be, way too difficult for you to see on the chart here but on the chart it has um, the paper size what size box you're going to have so if it's like um, we're going to do a two and a half by two and a half by two and a half size box which is this size right here um, you will need what does it say on my chart here so two and a half by two and a half by two and a half you need an eight inch by eight inch square piece of paper it also says that you need to start on the line M, M for medium, and your diagonal line is L. So there's all these different little things on here that tells you um, how do you, which lines you're going to need and your score lines and all that kind of stuff. But you can, the, the sizes of the paper size that you need, it ranges anywhere. The smallest I think they use in here is a 6x6 six six, and the largest they use is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So this is an eight by eight. I have some leftover pieces which are perfect for making earring cards or whatever else I want to make. So I'm just going to set those to the side. Um, now they've really thought everything through. They've got lots of little grids and markings, um, different letters and lines here. When you're making the, the box, you, you mostly use the pink um, parts of the uh, instructions and you can see here there's a score line A, a score line B, there's a little scoring tool inside here which we're going to use. Um, so for this particular box I'll just look on my chart and there's very good instructions. I, I alluded to it but then I jumped ship, <laughs> changed direction. But this book here has all the instructions really well laid out for the bow, the envelope, uh, the boxes, it's really clear. Um, and they have envelope liners, um, what else? String tie boxes, you can use this, coin envelopes, lots of different ways, little file folders, neat stuff. So don't lose that book when you get it. Um, okay, so there's also a punch here in the middle. It punches in a few different spots. It punches here, I'll, I'll use it, use it, whoops. I'm going to use this piece of paper so you can see the, where the different punch, what the punch looks like to start off with. But if you punch here, you get a V-shaped punch. Um, if you line up your edge along this bow guide, it says, it'll punch just half of that. There's also punches on e each corner. There's a, a corner rounder on this side. So if you have it in the right spot and use the same punch here, it rounds the corner. And if you use this other corner, I don't know if Doug can see it here, this little section here, if you put your corner into there, make sure it's always pushed in well and punch it. up, push it down here. You get that neat little um, notch and a rounded corner on the end. So all of these things are all tied into this tool. All right, so let's make this box. I'll show you how it goes. All right, so you're, you need to take, so it says here the two and a half by two and a half, two and a half, eight M 
and M we're going to be using. So this line here where it says M, I'm going to take my um, left hand side of the paper, make sure it's up against the grid, slide it up to the edge of the M. I'm going to punch and I'm going to take my scoring tool and I'm going to come into this first slot here. This is an odd angle for me, but maybe I'll use my other hand. You go into this slot, press down and score all the way down. And then there's another notch here with the tall hole. There's two with tall holes, a short one over here. You can't see. We're going to use this tall one here. You come right in and slide along here. So now you have a notch and two score lines. We're going to turn it one turn. Go back to the M. Oops, I forgot. Sorry. Okay, so I've done the punch. The M, I'm lined up to the M. Did the score line, score line. And then right here is the diagonal line. I need to go on the M here on the diagonal line. So you go down the M line, right down to, to you meet the, the uh, angle, the line that you scored before. So it stops there. Now, we're going to turn it one tur quarter turn. We're going to line it up, punch it, score, score, and down the M line here. One quarter turn. Once you get it figured out, it's really simple. Score. You'd never be able to make these boxes without a tool like this. It would be a huge pain. Okay, one more quarter turn. Score. Score. And M down to the spot there. Okay, so now I've done it on all four sides. We have to flip it over. And we need to see... Can you see, uh, maybe this side shows better. Um, can you see here where there's a like a little V here? We need to make another notch as well. So all you do is you flip it over, you put it on the M and do the notching. The scoring's been done already, so we don't need to do that. So now you have two notches. You turn it one quarter turn, line it up with the M. Turn it quarter turn, line it up with the M. All right. So now we have our box form. We now need to put those little um, notches in each of the corners because that's what's going to hold our whole box together. So we're going to do that by putting it in this top corner slot, making sure it's all fit in nice and tight. Punch down. It doesn't matter which side you do it on, whether, you know, the back side in this guy case or the front side. It doesn't matter as long as you keep it all the same direction every time. Don't be flipping it over back and forth. Otherwise, your notches will head the wrong direction. So that's it. That's all it takes to actually construct the box. And now we can just fold it. So I'll kind of pop this out of the way. And this is all there is for waste. Just some little corners and stuff like that. All right, so all I'm going to do to put this box together, I'll decide which side I want out. I think I'll have the yellow side out. And I'm just going to refold every, um, just kind of fold it up on every uh, line that's there and, and use the little bone folder from the package. And this just kind of makes it a little crisper on the edges. Uh, this way. It's kind of neat, isn't it? And you can make tall boxes, flat boxes, big boxes, all with the same thing. Now you can see this part here. Each of these corners kind of pop in. So you kind of take two from opposite angles and you slide those two little notches together and that locks that side together. 
you pull these two sides up and slide those two together. The, sometimes this last side is a little, you kind of have to skew the box together to get it to fit nice. There, that's it. Isn't that cool? So you can make, like I said, I've got tons of different styles here. This one little tool will do all those, plus it'll do envelopes and bows. If you really want me to see how those bows and envelopes and stuff are done, you could uh, leave a request in the um, comment section below and I'll see if I can make a video on it. But I love this packaging. I think it's um, really clever to be able to build a cohesive look to your whole line, whether you're you're just whether you're selling your product or if you're giving it away it just really gives a nice um, look to it and you can s choose your papers according to the style of the jewelry that's inside of it and it just really gives it a neat look so i hope that was helpful for you if it was do let us know if you like this video um, we'd love it if you'd subscribe that would be great and make sure to press the like button and share and comment and do all those great things that we do on these social sites alrighty um, so if you have a suggestion for future videos leave those in the comment section below as well and we will see you next time all right bye for now